One CNC provides a very powerful solution for water jet, plasma, laser, and router applications. You can work with solid models or wireframe geometry. You can create your geometry within one CNC, or you can import CAD files from various different CAD systems. Now please also note that one CNC has the ability to auto nest the parts, or if you want to, you can manually nest the parts. In this first example, I'd like to demonstrate how we can easily auto nest our parts. First thing we need to do is take these parts and load them within the nest manager. To do this, simply take your cursor, left hand mouse click on the plus sign, digitize the shape, and then fill out the parameters. For example, for this part, I want 100. For the corner type, I'm going to leave it set to none, but notice how you can select chamfer, half loop, or full loop. Also notice the very fast dynamic feedback that 1CNC provides. It's very, very nice. Nest angles, I'm going to leave that set to incremental and at 90 degrees. This is where you control the amount of tabs and the tab width. And these parameters down here simply specify the lead in and lead out styles of your tabs. I think this looks great, so I'll click OK. And there we go. That part has been quickly added to the nest manager. Let's perform the same operation on the remaining two parts. We'll click the plus sign. We'll grab the shape. For this shape, we're going to say that we need 75 of these. I'm going to leave the rest of the parameters the same, and we'll click OK. And let's do this one more time. We'll grab that last shape. For this, we need 125 parts. That looks great. I'll click OK to that, and there we go. Now, once your parts have been added to the Nest Manager, now it's time to actually auto-nest. So to do this, what we're going to do is just zoom out just a little bit. And we're going to head over here and select this option called Nest Parts to Sheet. At this point, you fill out these very easy parameters, the sheet length, sheet width, the distance between parts, the edge clearance, and the number of sheets, and then click OK. At this point, 1CNC will quickly and efficiently nest all those parts within the Nest Manager to the sheet. Very, very nice. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. All right. Now that the parts have been nested to the sheet using the parameters we provided, it's now time to cut the parts. We're going to cut up here. We're going to grab this option called Cut Nested Parts. And then these are parameters that are optional that you can fill in. Your start cut codes, profile mark codes, router codes, and end cut codes. Once you specify these, you can save these to disk and then use these codes again later on for subsequent parts. You also have control over your offset. You've got your machine curve, software curve, and no offset at all. Drilling, pre-drill, part drilling, and engraving. All that looks fine, so I'll click Finish. And there we go, all of our nested parts have been cut. Now, if you'd like, you can also calculate the cost. This is a very nice feature. You select this option called Create Nest Information. I'm going to say that for these parts, it actually costs 20 cents per foot. So we'll click OK to that. And here we go. Here's the data for that. This can be saved and printed as well. It's very, very nice information. All right, to create the CNC code, just right hand mouse click and select Post Group. Here you're going to select the machine that you'd like to create the CNC code for. I'm going to go with an Amada. That looks great, so we'll click Post. I'll click Save and Yes. And here is the CNC program. Within the text editor, if you'd like, you can do Search, Copy, Replace, all the powerful tools you'd expect in any very nice editor. Plus, you have the added benefit of being able to upload or download using the 1CNC RS232COM software. All right, now let's demonstrate manually nesting parts. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear the nest. And I'm going to delete this toolpath up here. That looks good. So if we want to manually nest parts, what we want to do first is select the first part that we'd like to nest. So what I'm going to do is select this part first. We'll head up here and we're going to grab this option. Again, you fill out your sheet parameters and click OK. And notice now how the part is attached to my cursor. And I can come over here and I can snap. And it's using all those clearance values we specified. If you hit the arrow keys on your keyboard, you can rotate. Very, very nice. If you want to, if you hit the up arrow, you can control the angle of rotation. For example, I'll put in 45 degrees. We'll click OK to that. And now I can rotate these parts by 45 degrees. Very, very nice. Let's bring in another one. Let's grab this part here. And we'll go to our manual nest. That looks good. I'll give that a couple of rotations. And we'll say that looks fine. All right. And so cutting these parts is just as easy as before. What you do is you head over here, select this option called Cut the Nested Parts. And again, you have these parameters you can fill out. And then click Finish. And then there's the toolpath. All right, one last thing. If you want to, you can, of course, cut individual parts. So to demonstrate this, let's clear the nest very fast. Let's do that. We're going to clear the nest. Let's get rid of that CNC program. That looks good. All right, and I'm going to bring up another layer here that just has a single part on it. All right, now with this single part, you can head over here to your tool paths, and then you can apply, for example, 
cut close shape that'll cut the entire shape custom shape will allow you to cut just part of the shape you can uh, use this drill single to create the holes if you want to create custom CNC code or you can actually use this option here to move the cutting source to any location that you'd like very very nice so a quick demonstration let's go with a the cut close shape I'm gonna grab this here right hand mouse click again you're gonna set your parameters up your different sides I'm gonna say that we're gonna have four tabs on this and for the angle on these tabs I'm gonna use 90 degrees for both the lead in and the lead out the tab width let's give that a hundred thousandths like we did before we'll click OK to that I'm gonna say these parameters are fine and we'll click finish and there's the toolpath for that so this has been a demonstration of the one CNC solution for water jet, laser, plasma, or router. Thanks so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.